Hey everyone, it's David. Hope y'all are doing well. I just have uh, something in Obadiah that I just want to go over with everybody. If you look at Obadiah, it's just one chapter. But I'm going to go to verse 15. And it says, it talks about the day of the Lord and the future. And it talks about Edom being destroyed and Israel being restored. Um, I don't believe Israel has been restored yet. And I believe that Israel is a spiritual Israel. Um, those that believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I believe, is spiritual Israel. We've been grafted into the vine, the true vine, which is Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to go ahead and read from verse 15. Like I said, Obadiah is one chapter. And it starts off with the day of the Lord. It says, in verse 15, The day is near when I, the Lord, will judge the godless nations. As you have done to Israel, so it will be done to you. Like I said, God's people, Christians. So as you have done to Christians, it'll be done to you. It's not just about a territory. Yes, Jerusalem is uh, Mount Zion, and it is God's holy place. But uh, that doesn't mean that the physical territory right now is uh, acting as such, not not acting holy. There's a lot of uh, a lot of falsehood there. But anyway, so it says, as you've done to Israel or Christians, so it will be done to you. All your evil deeds will fall back on your heads. Just as you swallowed up my people on my holy mountain, Jerusalem, so you and the surrounding nations will swallow the punishment I pour out on you. Whoa. Yes, you, nations will drink and stagger and disappear from history as though you have never existed. But Jerusalem, Mount Zion, God's holy people, will become a refuge for those who escape. It will be a holy place. See, it's not holy yet, but it will be. And the people of Israel will come back to reclaim their inheritance. At that time, Israel will be a raging fire. And Edom, or Edom, I mean, or Esau, a field of dry stubble. The fire will roar across the field, devouring everything and leaving no survivors in Edom or Esau. I, the Lord, have spoken. So... It's talking about God's people, and it's saying that eventually the Lord's going to bring us back around the time of the day of the Lord. And I don't believe that's happened yet. Um, I think what's going on in Israel, if y'all really study it, it's a Rothschild state. Um, the powers that be have kind of done some self-fulfilling prophecy with bringing... Uh, a lot of Ashkenazi Jews to Israel, and they've uh, kind of just, I don't know, done whatever they wanted with that country. A lot of the Jews that live there are not um, even Old Testament believers. A lot of the Jews that live in Israel right now follow the Talmud, and they follow uh, the Zohar and uh, the Kabbalah. So there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of things that are different than they really... What's on the surface is actually different than what it really is. But someday, y'all, according to the Bible, the Lord will bring us back to Israel. And it says that His people will be a, a raging fire. will be on fire in the power of the Holy Spirit. And when that day comes... The Lord will receive all the glory. So let's preserve ourselves. And let's fight the good fight of faith. And be ready. For when that day comes. Because I don't think it's that far away y'all. So Lord. I just. Um, I'm going to pray. Lord God I thank you for all your blessings. I pray Lord that you would lead your people. In a mighty way in these end times that you'd renew a right spirit within us, 
that you would allow us to be filled with fire in our bones, Lord God. Like Ezekiel, God, and like Jeremiah, Lord, and the prophets of old, where your people, God, were filled with the power of your spirit, God, and they prophesied like the apostles did, Lord. They spoke and they prophesied and they led many to the kingdom, Lord, because they were not afraid. They were emboldened by the power of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit, God, moved mightily in them and through them, God, and drew many to you, Lord. I pray that the spirit of Elijah would come and fall upon your people, Lord, and that in these last days you would have your way, God, and that you bring many unto yourself. Like the Bible says in Isaiah, Lord, that the multitude of the sea will be converted unto thee. And I pray that it will be, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for all your blessings. God, I pray for everybody out there that needs healing in their bodies or in their families. I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name that they would be healed. And I pray, Lord God, that you would have your way in their lives and uh, just spiritually draw them closer to you. Help them to have a fire for you, Lord, and just draw them by your spirit to read the Bible to fast, to pray, to be renewed by the Holy Spirit, to be on spiritual fire, Lord, for you, God, and, and to live their lives in love and to minister to others in love, God, and demonstrate the glorious goodness and glory of the Lord to other people. We thank you, God. We lift you up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless y'all.